what a mighty God we serve. Beloved, who can do this for you and I? It is only Jehovah, the King of glory. This is another day. He has given us a life. Because without a life, no one can survive. Only his mercy endure forever. So without wasting time, let us thank him for what he has done. He deserves it. Immortal everlasting Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, for giving your children another day like this. Only your mercy can do this. We thank you, covenanted God. What a savior, what a king, what a Lord. Mighty in everything, as everything is under your feet. You are all in all. We thank you and we appreciate you by your mercy that endure forever. In Jesus Christ, your mighty name, I have prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Beloved, this is another day. And I take this opportunity also to greet the viewers of Prophet Kenew. They have allowed themselves to listen to the end time prophet. Beloved, continue to listen to end time prophets. And God Almighty will help you, protect you, and all your needs will be met by the Almighty Jehovah. Hallelujah. Beloved, he has given us a word, a word from our Lord Jesus Christ. The title of the message is The Fake Prophet or the false prophets. So without wasting time, let us go to Matthew 7, starting from 15 to 20. Let us hear the word of God. This is by our King, Jesus Christ, the one who knows you and I. So I read verse 715 going. Beware of the false prophets which come to you in sheep clothes, but inwardly they are raving wolves. That is number one. Christ is telling us, warning us that the false prophets, they come to us pretending that they know Christ, but they don't know him. So beloved, Christ is warning you and I this morning. Let us continue. 15, ye shall know them by their fruits. Do men gather grapes or thorns or figs or testers? Christ is telling us, does men gather good fruits or bad fruits. So let us continue. 17, even so, every good tree bring forth a good fruit, but a corrupt tree bring forth evil fruit. See how Christ is telling you and I, The ones, they are false. He doesn't know them, but they are pretending that they know Christ. So he is warning us this morning that he does not know them. We continue. Even so, 18, a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruits. A good tree, 
if you are in Christ, you abide in him. You will not pamper sin because sin belongs to Satan and sin is evil fruit. Neither can a corrupt tree bring forth a good fruit. If you are not in Christ, you will bear evil fruit or a corrupt fruit. So Christ is telling us this morning, we have to be vigilant. We have to know the false and the fake prophets. 19, every tree that bring not forth a good fruit is hand down and cast into a fire. Beloved, the evil fruit, that is their end. They, Christ will cut them. They will be in the fire. The fire of what? The fire of the lake of hell. So this morning, they think they are doing the evil things, but Christ knows them. Christ knows they are inside and outside, the false and the fake prophets, deceiving people. So beloved, let us be aware. 20, therefore, by their fruit, ye shall know them. By their fruit, because Christ doesn't know them. They will keep on lying, 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 as their father is the father of lies. As the Bible let us know, John 8, 44, their father, Satan, is a liar. He lied all the time. So they also, they lie. They also, the false prophet, they also, they are followers of Satan. That's why Christ is warning us that they cannot bear a good fruit. Why? They don't know Christ. They don't know him. They are serving Satan and his demons. So there is no truth in, in them. And the truth is the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit does not use them. They use their master's source. That's why Christ is telling us this morning, Beloved, let us continue. We go to the book of Corinthians, Second Corinthians 11. And beloved, let us see what Second Corinthians 11 is telling you and I. So let us be aware. This is the end time. Deception, deception, deception. Second Corinthians 11, 13 to 14. Let us hear the word by Apostle Paul concerning the fake or the false prophets. 13 says, for such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. The apostles, they deceive, some are deception, and they pretend themselves into apostles of Christ. Christ doesn't know them. It is their master who has ordained them to be apostles. So beloved, imagine this. You don't know Christ, but you are pretending. 
the end time, where are you going to stand? Where will you be? Beloved, we serve a mighty God. 14 says, and no marvel, for Satan himself is transformed into angel of light. Beloved, that's all. He is a pretender, deceiver. But Christ, the owner of life, he knows our inside and outside. So beloved, this is end time. Deception is so much. So let us be aware to know the fake apostles, the fake prophets, the fake pastors, the fivefold, the, the fake evangelists, the fake teachers. Christ is warning us this morning. Beloved, with him, all things are possible. This morning, I want to acknowledge you that depend upon him. He has done so much for us. For me, instance, I have a testimony to share this morning. Christ, the owner of life, when I was in the world, I didn't know him, but he is a good God, a merciful king that, I travel on a boat from America to Ghana on Atlantic Sea. Imagine this, who can do this? I wasn't born again, I was in the world. But Christ knew me, Christ took care of me for 30 day journey to Tema. So beloved, when you depend upon him, there is nothing that he cannot do for you. Being on the sea for 30 days, imagine this, I and my children, Christ is good. Our savior is so unique. So this morning, he is warning us, let us depend upon him. The false teachers, the false prophets, the false apostles, the false evangelists, they don't know Christ. They are busy working for their master. And that's why Christ said, a bad fruit will be cut down. And when it's cut, it will go into the fire. The fire that he has for Satan and his demons. As a fake prophet, you also will end there. So beloved, let us be aware. Serve our mighty Jehovah. He knows us. So this morning, let us be aware. From this false, fake, pastors, prophets, apostles, evangelists, and teachers. Christ doesn't know them. So beloved, let us serve our maker. And let us know them. Because there is nothing good in them. Everything is deception. We give God, Jehovah, mighty King, our Savior, all his glory for the warning that he has given to us. And the Holy Spirit, our teacher, that's why the word, he will let us know with understanding. So let us avail ourselves. We give him all his glory, king of glory. We give him all his honor as he share his glory with no man for giving us a word this morning. Spirit of the living God, we thank you 
for giving us the utterance to hear the word that Christ has given to us. It is you that has helped us to understand it. We thank you, Holy Spirit. Protect your end time prophet, prophet Kenewu, the wife and the children, and also his viewers that listen to him in a daily basis. Oh, spirit of living God, we give you all your glory because this end time, it is you that we have to depend. We thank you. We give God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, all the glory. In Jesus Christ, your word has come forth. We thank you for your word. Amen.